two beer race fans. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today is Monday, July 1st, 2024. Give a shout out to my son Jonathan. It's his birthday today. Big old 19. Uh, let's see here. Today, like I said, today's Monday, July 1st. We have one month and three weeks before we get up and head to Iowa. That's head to Iowa. So, just to go over a few things, throw some stuff out there. I, uh, I am going to throw my cash app, a picture of my cash app up on this video. And if anybody would like to help us get to Iowa, make sure we have enough spare parts and tire. The big thing is tires. That's what we're, we're, we're hunting for now is tires. Um, if anybody would like to be, uh, to help us through this journey, this is a big journey. Um, never in a million years would I have ever thought this would have happened or came about. But for three bucks, just three dollars, we will put your name on the car. I got a spot. I'm going to put everybody's name that would like to donate, help, and sponsor. I'm going to call it a sponsor. Uh, sponsor us to help us to get to Iowa and everything. I'm going to put their name on the car. We will do a video on the reveal, which we are revealing the car in like three weeks. So, we're going to do a big, uh, big event up there at the, we call it Frankfurt Hot Dog Festival. It's a local festival that the uh, the city puts on that where I'm from uh, so I'm just throwing that out there you don't have to I'm just here's the deal is you know racing is an expensive hobby and I know it's not up to everybody to help us out um, but at the same time a lot of people out there may want to help so if you don't want to that's fine if you do this is an opportunity like i said uh, you know if if uh if i can get some people to throw like i said just like three bucks um our way to help us with tires and stuff any anything would help um here's here's the deal is i have I've got about $15,000 in this car so far with a new motor that I'm getting built, um, new rear end that I had built. Uh, I have three sets of gears. Um, the car, all the little odds and ends that we're doing. Um, the new transmission, which is right there. It's not new. It's got about four nights on it, so it's almost new. Guy gave me a good deal on it. Um, I had to go all the way to Illinois to pick it up, but we got it. Uh, tires is the biggest thing now. I have I have several rims and tires already on the rims, but we got to take those tires off because those tires are not legal for IMCA. So uh, I got to get new tires. Um, I would like to have. I'd like to have. Let's see here. So when we get there, we have practice. Um, and then we have, uh, we have our, our night to qualify and to race and to make the show. If we don't make the show, then there is a second chance qualifier later on through the week that we can enter into. And we get in that way or be main. Um, and then of course, Friday night is the main event. Now I have absolute full faith in my driver that I have. Um, nationally recognized driver. He's won all kinds of championships, won all kinds of races. Um, he is pretty badass when it comes to racing dirt track. Um, if anybody is from the Illinois area, uh, Makem Speedway, uh, I don't know where all he races at, but he's won everywhere. He's well, I mean, when he shows up, he's a top contender. Um, so, like I said, 
I am just looking for, I had some sponsors. I don't know what happened to them. Um, they kind of fell through. Maybe life got in the way and that's okay. So I am just throwing it out there. If anybody would like their name on the car, uh, like I said, we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to put everybody's name on the car that helps, helps out, <coughs> donates a little bit. Um, if you are a business, please get with me. We can go over some details on that. It is tax deductible if you are a business. Um, if you are a business, I will just say I would need your logo pretty quick. I've already got everything to the wrap guy. I don't think he has started on the wrap yet. But even if the wrap is done, I have another guy that can print off your logo, print off your, your where you're from um, and everything. We can get it on the car. Uh, so yeah, um, I am taking, uh, I am taking, I have only got enough room. I would probably say for only, uh, two or three more sponsors as far as, uh, a big, big area on the car. Cause like I said, I would like, I'm saving an area on the car just for names. Um, now I know I have, I have a lot of people here on YouTube and I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. It's actually been pretty amazing. Uh, you know, uh, if, if I can get some help, that would be great. If not, I mean, we're going to make it either way. I don't know how we're going to, but we're going to make it. Uh, but, uh, let's see here today, get ready to take my youngest son golfing. I'm going to spend a little bit of time with him before the summer runs out and he goes back to school, which is, it's July 1st, so I think they start school uh, maybe middle of August or so. So we don't, we don't have a whole lot of time there. Um, it's my other son's birthday, as I said at the beginning of the video. So I am going to see, going to see if he wants to go to lunch after we get done golfing. And then when I come home, get some more of this wrap off. Uh, when we get home, we have, I've got the rear end housing all cleaned out. Uh, it took me about two hours to do that the other day. I was going to make a video, but man, that, the stuff that I was using, it was spraying everywhere and getting everywhere. So I just decided not to, cause it's getting all over the thing. But, uh, we got it all cleaned out. I've got the new gasket for the rear end. I've got the new, the gear over there. Uh, well, I'm going to put it in. Doesn't mean it's going to stay in, but I'm going to put it in and we're going to see how it rolls. Uh, I have, let's see here. I got a new set of gears coming. So the, the housing that broke, the gears that broke in that car, uh, it had 650 gears in it. I got a brand new set of, uh, lightweight rem finished uh gears coming 600s that's another ratio that i'm going to take to iowa with us and then also um, i have another housing that needs new bearings i'm going to get it all freshened up um new bearings and make sure it's all set right uh and it's a uh 583 i believe so the gear ratios that we're taking to iowa if anybody races 3 8 mile and knows that knows what gear ratios and so forth if this is wrong please i mean please help me out we're new to this um i race quarter mile tracks here in indiana so uh, we have like i said we have a 583 gear set we have a 600 and a 620 so that i mean that's that covers quite a bit um i don't have we don't have a quick change rear end in the car uh, wasn't able to get wasn't able to uh, fee that wasn't feasible for us this year uh, I think they're legal but I'm not sure um, so we got that uh, the wrap has been paid for that's all done I'm just waiting for him to come up with the design I told the guy that I am not as a, de a design artist I told him I I want something that pops. 
I want something that when we pull this car up, these people are going to be like, either A, that is the most hideous looking car, but it's going to be memorable, or B, that car is badass, and it's still going to be memorable. Um, I did take the, I took the skirting off on this side. There's some damage right here. I'm going to cut this. I'm just going to cut that out right there. And I'm going to make some more skirting. But I'm trying to find some of this plastic here. Um, it had metal on there. And the bad thing about metal is if it scrapes the ground or whatever, it bends and it stays. At least with the plastic, it, uh, it's got give and it'll go back to where, uh, you know, how it's supposed to look. So I'm trying to track down some plastic to put, to make, to go back over here. Um, same way with the other side. Once I get the rear end gear in, hopefully the new axles will be here. The car didn't have axles in it. I didn't know that. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I ordered new axles. Um, so yeah, once the engine gets done, which he said he's going to work on it, uh, he put me up front because he knows the time crunch, plus he's sponsoring me, helping me out with it. I still got to pay him, but uh, he's a he's a heck of a guy. And uh, for me, he's going to stop work on the other projects that he has going on there and uh, just work on the engine because there's a lot to do on the engine. Um, it's just not slapping it together and rolling i i don't want that we're doing uh some very very uh specific clearances on this engine because it is a 50 lap feature and so the the thing is is you've got racing two let's see here wednesday and thursday is your qualifying nights so you have your heat race potentially a b main if you get in through the B main, then you have the feature. So that's one, two, that's your heat race, that's your B main, and that's your feature. Then they have practice on Tuesday. So you got time on there, on the motor on, on Tuesday. Um, and then you got the feature. The feature is 50 laps. So, uh, I am, we're, I mean, I'm going to take enough stuff. We're going to change the oil. After the, uh, if we make the feature, which I hope we do, we will be changing the oil, the fluids. Uh, before the feature, I'm taking the spare radiator. I got a brand new radiator I'm putting in the car. And I have a spare brand new radiator I'm going to put, I'm taking with us. I will probably end up change out the, 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 I'll probably put in the other new radiator before the feature. That way it's completely clean. Won't have any overheating issues, hopefully. Uh, uh, so there's a lot, lot to this that we got going on. As I look, I've got to clean up the, I got to clean up the, so it's been sitting for a while. It's been in the garage, but it has been sitting for a while. So I got to clean up the rotors. They're kind of rusted. Um, and I like them. I'm going to take the the take take the uh, the hubs off. I'm going to put clean them all out, and I'm putting some of my grease that I just got. I'm going to redo everything, repack the bearings. Uh, I've got some uh, stuff that I got from PRI from the PRI show that was given to me. Um, it's a anti friction. It's a, a friction reducer and. I mean, you put it just a little bit on there on your bearings and it just, it just frees them up. It's like, it just spins for days. Uh, so less friction means less heat, less heat and less friction means it rolls freer. The freer things roll, the faster you're going to be. Like I said, I, we are up against like million dollar race teams. And when I say I'm not exaggerating. So, I mean, Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to be there. There's going to be some other big drivers there. And if people don't think they're going to come with the absolute best of the best, you're at your mind. But my driver is right up there with them. So he ain't no joke. Um, he's raced with Ricky Thornton Jr. 
Um, he's raced right side beside him. So, uh, we've got to get this car up and going though. Uh, let's see here. Not this weekend, but the next weekend is going to be a big weekend for us. Um, we are going to go to, uh, Indianapolis. We're sitting ninth in points, which is really crazy because, I mean, I think we've only raced there twice this year. I've missed a couple races because the old girl was, was down. Um, but we're sitting in ninth in points. And if I do fairly well this coming weekend, uh, so the gap is so close in points that if I do well, I know there's going to be, there's going to be at least two people that's not there or not coming that's, that's ahead of me in points. But, uh, if I do well, I have a chance to get up, man, I think almost to top five if, if I do well. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I, uh, I was going to run for points, but I did miss a couple races. I know I'll probably miss a race or another race or two, but, uh, Montpelier is opening up. That was, a, that was some good news that we got. Montpelier is opening up. I think he's going to run. I think he said eight races this year just to get cars on the track, get the community back together. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, people that's been uh, complaining because they ain't got no place to go on the weekend. You know, uh, dirt track racing is kind of crazy with, with uh, country folk, you know. Even though it's starting to get, there's some tracks are starting to get outrageous on their prices of, you know, the, the general admission and stuff. It's like, man, you guys are killing it. That, that's, that's one thing that I think it's killing the sport. But the, the, the thing is, is they got to have money to pay the drivers and everything and all the, all the crew people. I mean, people don't understand how much work goes in in just a one night of racing and how much it costs. Uh, I know, I know the, uh, the last guy that promoted, he was talking to me about some stuff and it's like $3,000 a night just for insurance. That's a lot, but it is what it is. It's dangerous sport. People can get hurt. Even though we do sign a waiver, you never know. Uh, so so right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a break on this, and we are going to get ready to go golfing with my boy. And then after that, like I said, potentially take my other son out to lunch. And then we'll get back to coming into the garage and the shop, getting that uh, gear put in. I got new, uh, went out to Rule King the other day, got new New hardware, new new nuts, new washers, lock washers for it. Um, and then uh, we're going to go over the paperwork for Schaefer's Oil. I am a dealer now. Hey, um, just started. Uh, so hope maybe maybe that'll that'll help out a little bit. I don't know. The stuff is expensive, but dang on it's so good. It is a good good product. Um, but I got to get some uh, fluids coming in. I got to get uh, some, uh, see if I, I can get some, some, some stuff sold. Uh, I've got a couple people that has already uh, hit me up, want to know prices, and I don't even know the prices yet. Uh, I just met up with the uh, representative Thursday, last Thursday, and he gave me some products to try out and uh, give away and stuff. So I've got... Uh, I just got some grease and some some uh, some other stuff here, but trying to do what I can, folks. Trying to do what I can. So, like I said, um, if anybody would like to help out, just just cash out. That's what's what I got. Uh, you can put in the memo there. It's got a little a little area. Put your name and say hey. Uh, this is for a donation or, uh, help with the race car. And I'll know. And also, also, when my new sponsor, so I do have a new sponsor. 
he's going to try to make me some keychains and some lanyards and some small stuff. Um, he's not a money sponsor, but what he is is he is a sponsor that's going to help me out on making all this stuff um, and maybe cut me a, a small deal on stuff and that way I can give it out to people. So if you do sponsor me or us, I'm not going to, I keep saying me, but it's not really me. It's not about me. It's about us. Um, I started this YouTube channel to let people know what all is involved in the everyday of, of racing. Just a regular old guy trying to have a little bit of fun and, and life before it's over, you know, uh, you never know when that day's gonna be, but I gotta we gotta do some stuff something here. That's yeah, I got I got some braces I need to take off and bend back out. Uh so so uh oh yeah. If uh if people do sponsor me or help me help me out, maybe I can get with them, figure out how to get send you a message, get your address and just send you something, you know? It may be small, it may be a keychain, maybe a lanyard or something. But you know, it's, I, I, I'll give back a little bit what I can. Um, but I think the most exciting thing is, is if we, if we win, then, you know, your name's gonna be on national TV. And a lot of people's gonna be able to see it. Whew, look at that. I took all those rivets out, now everything's loose. But uh, we'll get that all tightened back up. But yeah, so we're going to head out, and we will be back later. All right, we're back at it, folks. We, so I've got, I've got it kind of cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to go over it again with the knife, try to get some more of this old gasket sealer off. And then uh, take my uh, little brush and go over these studs because they've got gasket sealer on them too. And then I think I got most of it all cleaned out pretty good. Uh, take a rag. Oh yeah, there it is. Take a rag, clean the rest of that up. Uh, and then we'll be able to bolt. We'll be able to bolt the, uh, the gears in. So let me clean this up real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, we've got the gasket on and we've got some gasket, just a thin, it, I don't know if it looks thin, but it's pretty thin. A thin layer of a gasket maker um just as a little bit of an extra precaution so gonna let that set up for just about five minutes and then we're gonna try to get the gear on stay tuned i've never seen brakes like this all right folks we got the rear end gear in all the nuts and washers are on tight she's ready to go at that point just waiting on the axles, and we'll get her all filled up and go from there. And it reaches different people. All right, next little project. We're going to try to clean up the rotors. And now don't get mad at me and don't make dumb comments because I'm going to use a flapper disc. Because I'm not going to pull everything off. I don't have time to do that. I do have to pull this one off, but I'm just going to use a flapper disc and clean them up. And then... Uh, well, I'll throw some oil on them. Uh, hang on. I'm going to throw some oil on them so they don't rust again. And then when we get ready, I will clean them all off. And then that way they don't rust prior to us being done. So I'll get started on that. We'll be back. All right, folks, just like that. Got that one all cleaned up front and back. I got the front one all cleaned up, front and back. Got a little little coat of Marlboro Mystery Oil on her. That way she won't rust. And then it'll be easier to throw some brake clean on it and clean it off when we're ready to go. Uh, 
So with the rear end gear in, we can let that uh, gasket maker set up. Uh, axles will be here, let's see here, Monday, either, uh, not the 4th, either the 3rd or the 5th of July. So once those come in, I can drop it down, put a wheel on it, drop it down, move it over just a little bit so I can go ahead and take the rims off the other side, get those cleaned up. And then uh, tomorrow, I think the legend's coming out here, Pops. We're taking the front hubs off. We're going to clean up the bearings, uh, the hub bearings, and we're going to put new grease in them and some a special additive that is supposed to take away most of almost all the friction and just let the let the dude spin like crazy less friction less heat and a lot more speed and that's what we're looking for so by the time the axles get in hopefully i have an update on the engine and then i got to take I don't have to take this apart. If the engine comes in, I don't have to take this one apart. I can leave it together uh, if I want, but I got everything for to put this transmission in except for, now before I say this, let's walk over to the old shop because I might just have something hanging on the wall. I don't remember. Okay, well, I'm already looking over at the wall and I don't see nothing. But it may have either fell down or, I don't know, maybe I got rid of it. Who knows? Because I had, I had a clutch pedal hanging right there with, oh, look at that. There it is. There it is. Okay, so we can see if this dude works. I'll make sure the seals are good in it. Uh, clean them threads up there. Lube it up, and if it works, I mean, it seals up, feels kind of dry, but we'll get some lube in there, and uh, if it works, we'll figure out a way to mount this dude up underneath there, and then this will, this is this just saved me, I don't know, you know, like 150, 160 bucks. So we'll, I think, I think I can actually turn this upside down and then I can mount it to the floor and use it as a floor pedal which it looks like that's what it's supposed to be anyways and if that's the case then that'll be easier to mount um, I'll just have to have somebody figure out how to get in there and mount it to the floor somewhere the good thing is it's just the clutch and uh, you know there's not a whole lot of action on it just to get just to go so we're going to call her a day and uh we will be back tomorrow we're going like i said we're going to take these off both sides we're going to get those repacked put them back on uh when i do that i might go ahead and take the other side wheel off and go ahead and clean up that rotor that way they're both done um, I'm going to take these brake pads off because it's still it's still kind of tight, but it does it, it does spin now. But I it it doesn't spin free enough for me, so I'm going to take those pads off, clean those pads up, and then put those back on. Uh, plus, I want to see if I can get a part number off the pad so I can get an extra set for the front and back. Uh, yeah, so. We, we will get there, folks. I promise you, we will get there. Uh, this car here, I've got to do some front end stuff. It'll probably take me a couple hours to do the front end. I did change the spring in the back here, but I'm probably going to change it back. Um, I put a 20-inch uh, spring under it so I can get some more bite. But, man, I tell you what. Here's the deal. Is last time I had this car out, I qualified quick time out of my whole group. Um, I got second in the heat race, and I got fifth in the feature. Now, feature time came around, and it slowed up. That's why I'm trying to figure out how to get a little bit more bite in the left rear. And 
when the car is hiking up, going around the corners, all my weight is coming off this spring. And that spring really ain't doing nothing in the corners. That's why I was trying to go with this 20 inch spring. I may leave it in there just to see. I can, uh, it'll take me a little bit of time, but what I can do is I can mark on my screw jack. I could put that one back in, put it on the scales, set it where I want it. Um, I could take it off or take it out, put this one, the 20 inch back in, set it where I want it. If the 20 inch does not work, I can. It doesn't take long. Just zip up the screw jack and the spring will come out. I could put that one in and uh, we can just go from there. So test and trial, you never know. If you're looking for a little bit of... Well, howdy do to be race fans. Today's Wednesday, July 3rd. What we got going on today is I've cleaned up the whole front end, the gre all the grease zerks. I'm missing two grease zerks, so good thing I'm checking this out. Uh, I've got some grease zerks. I got to put them in, but I've got the whole front end chassis lubed. I've got the I've got the passenger side. I don't know if you guys can see this because it's kind of dark, but I've got the brace right there for the rear for the rear engine mount for this guy right here, that guy. I've got to put the driver's side in and then I'm going to take the transmission off of there. I'm going to use this as a mock-up engine. I'm going to set the engine in there. I'm going to mark where I cut, can cut those off. I made them long for a reason, um, but I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to mark them to where I can cut them off. And then I'll cut them off. I'll probably cap them. That means cover the end of them. Uh, and uh, then I can get down to business with drilling a, well, I don't know if I'm going to drill a hole. I'll probably drill a hole and uh, run a bolt up through there and underneath weld the bolt head. And then I'll have the bolt sticking up. And then I'll be able to put washers and, you know, everything on that uh, to make the engine where I want it level or a little bit off off level uh sometimes we tilt them just a little bit because of the oil when we're going around a corner it helps that that actually levels the engine when we're going around a corner and that way the oil doesn't slosh to one side as much and it doesn't starve for oil because that's a bad thing so like i said i've got the one brace in i've got the front chassis loop now my 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 inner of the tie rods, they they don't have grease zerks. They're, the holes are there, but they're missing. Luckily though, I've got grease zerks. So I will put those in. I'm getting ready to clean up the driver's side. Uh, I gotta clean all that metal up there. I don't know if you could see it if it's pointing right. But where they used to have the same thing I'm putting in, but they took them out and they ran a cross member. But uh, I'm putting them back in, but I gotta clean that up. And then, uh, and then I got my other piece right here. I'm going to weld that in. And uh, then we can get down to business maybe tomorrow since there's no golf because it's a holiday. So when I get off work, I can maybe uh, lower the car down. It won't take long to put that engine in. And uh, I can bolt it up to the front. And then that's where I could kind of position it just, just a little bit and uh, mark where I need to put everything and get down to business there. So it's coming along. It's coming along. Um, I did message the engine builder, CJ. He said everything's coming along on the motor. Everything's looking good on it. So when he's done doing certain things, then he will have to let me know to order some certain parts because they have to be at a certain length and uh i'll have to get those ordered and then he can get in, in the uh, rocker arms we'll have to measure and see if we can use the rocker the the one sixes or the one fives on the exhaust we're going to use the one five on the intake uh we we're yet to determine if the one sixes are going to help us out usually it'll help out but if we don't have enough lift available then it'll hurt us and we don't want that so, uh, but he's got to wait to get everything done so he can uh, measure everything, check everything. Um, 
So that's where we are today. Um, I will uh, continue this video and, uh, you know, maybe we can uh, continue it till tomorrow and get the engine in. That way I can show you guys what I'm doing. And then uh, we also have to start getting this dude ready. Um, I put that, I put a different spring in here. I, I don't know if I like it or not. Um, I just don't know. But anyways, I'm going to take the passenger side rear spring out, make sure I have them in the right spots. Uh, I still got to take the front end, all the, the front end apart again. Uh, put those weight jacks back in. Weld them where I need them set, so that way there's no discrepancy. Uh, and then I've got to get my two barrel up there. I got to get it on because we're switching over to the two barrel for two reasons. One is because I feel like I'm still a little bit too much power, um, spinning spinning just a little bit too much off the corners. But uh, Mount Pillar, we can only run a two barrel. So if I run Friday night at Circle City and everything goes good and the car's still in good shape uh, and we can run, Saturday we're going to load up, or we're going to, well, stay loaded, maybe. Uh, and then we're going to head to Mount Pillar, and that way we have a double race weekend. Mount Pillar is not running for points, but I do, wanna, I do want to, to support the new guy. Um, the payout isn't very good, however... It is, it is in line with a lot of the tracks up that way. Uh, so we will support them as much as we can. All right, so my phone died. Not that you guys know that, but my phone died. So while it was charging up for a little bit, we grounded and got the other side all welded up and braced up. So now I've got both of them there. So, let's see here. It's 11.52. Uh, I could probably put the jack. So I've already took the bolts out of the, radi or the tra radiator, the transmission. Uh, the torque converter is still hooked up, but I can pull the uh, transmission out. We might be able to lower the car down, see if we can't... Uh, Put uh, put the engine in to mock it up, and uh, might be able to do that today. I don't know. If not, we'll definitely do it tomorrow. Uh, but I am glad that we at least got time to get those welded in. Uh, I need to let that one cool, anyways, for about an hour. Um, let's see here. Still got to, what do we got to do? We still got to get the, uh, the clutch pedal. We got to turn out, turn the reservoir over. Um, got to mark it. I got to take this old seat out, which it's not even bolted in. It's just sitting in there. Got to take that old seat out. And we gotta find a spot to mount that clutch pedal. Ah. I mean, there might be enough room over there. I mean, we're gonna make it work no matter what. There should be enough room over there. Might not be how he likes it though, but it is what it is. Uh. And the only other thing we gotta do is we gotta get a shifter for the transmission. Now, with that being said, let's walk over here to the old shop. Take a little field trip. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, ooh, look at this. Oh, it's only a one lever. Okay, well that's not going to work. Let's look around here for a second. If not, I'll have to order one. No big deal, we need it. What's this? 
one lever, okay. Well, it looks like, looks like we're gonna have to order one. That's okay. Uh, we did save the money on the, uh, the clutch assembly. Uh, so, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some, I guess. I thought for sure that was a double, but it's not. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't see another one up here. Well, that's, like you said, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get one ordered. It'll be here before the engine gets done anyways. If I order it today or tomorrow or Friday. Uh, so I got a notification. The gears, which is going in this housing right there, this old thing. That's the one that I stripped out in my Super Street. Uh, the gears, the new gear set's coming for it today. It's a 600 gear. Remember, I've got a 620 in the car now. I'm putting a 620 or 600 gear set in there. And in the car, I have a 583 that needs refreshing, new bearings and everything. Uh, so I've got that. So I'm going to have three gears to take with me. Uh, I hope I don't have to change it because they are heavy and they suck. But I'm going to go ahead and order another rear end gasket or two of them, just to be on the safe side. Uh, we might have some help there. If not, we'll get it done if we need to get it done. Believe me that. So, uh, but the good thing is, is it is coming along. I got this side, by the way, all sanded down, all this old sticky stuff off. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, beat some of these dents out just a little bit. I mean, not too much, but like back here, I'm going to try to get this to come out a little bit. Uh, I got a buddy of mine. He's going to go up north of Indiana. He's going to get the plastic skirting for me. So uh, he's going to do that over the weekend, I think, or maybe early next week. So we'll have that. Uh, the wrap is completely paid for. I am just waiting for him to come out with a design. Let me know if I, or let's see if I like it. If not, he might change a few things, but at least I know he'll be working on it. Uh, the engine, I probably give it another three or four days before I find out what all I need else I need to order for it, like the rockers and uh, the push rods. Uh, and then that should be the last things I need to order for it. I've got. I think I've got pretty much everything else. So, uh, we are going to work on this car all this week, all the rest of this week. So tomorrow, Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, whatever time I can, I'm going to be working on this car. Next week though, I'm going to stop working on this car, even though I'd hate to. And I'm going to focus on getting this car done, which should only take me maybe a couple days. Uh, and then we can get started back on the Iowa car. And that will give maybe some time for uh, Zach to get done with the wrap. And maybe that'll give some time for CJ to get done with the engine. Like I said, I've already got the transmission. I've got new coupler for it. Uh, I've got a bell housing over there for it. I do have to make a scatter shield. I'm going to make one. I, I don't know. Maybe I should just buy one that's got the SFI certification on it. I also have. I also noticed that I have to make a drive shaft hoop, which I think I have. I can. Uh, I could get me a piece made uh, hoop to uh, do that. Um, and when we get the rear end in, or I'm sorry, when we get the transmission and engine in, I could call up and I can get a drive shaft made. And when it gets here, it, I mean, the car should be ready to roll. So here's the deal is there is a few things I need to get for it. Like I need to, I need to have a GRC 
uh, build me a new right front shock because this one here I think is kind of worn. It's old, but I want to bring a new one up there anyways. That's a very important shock. These back ones, I'm going to have you make spares. Uh, they look like they're still in pretty good shape. Um, and then when we get everything done, get some tires, get it on the ground, then I can uh, set the pinion angle and all that fun stuff. And hopefully by that time, the hot dog festival will be coming around. We're going to sell a ton of coffee because everybody loves coffee. Um, it's going to help us get brand new tires. I'm probably for the for the reveal. I'll probably just use some of the old Hoosiers that I have, uh, paint them up, clean them up real good, throw them on there. Uh, but uh, get some of the new tires that we need, and then call up Guy and say, "I am done with it as far as I can go." He said that he has a guy that's been around racing for a long time that knows a lot of stuff about leafers, leaf spring cars. And he is going to help us set this one up. He is going to take it somewhere, I believe, and race it uh, and, and do all that fun stuff. I only have, I only have uh, like, let's see here, 60, 70, I've only got like 70 pounds of lead right now. I do know a guy that's got a little bit more, but I do need to put it on the scales and add lead. Um, I think the minimum is like 2,900 pounds for this race, but I don't care about that. Um, it's been proven that people chase that number to try to get low. Well, in these cars, we have to have weight to get traction. So if we're over 150, 200 pounds, that's okay but it needs to be in the right spot so we can get traction. Uh, so as of right now, I think I'm gonna call it a day and uh, go in, take a shower, get laid down, get some rest. Uh, might get up after I wake up, might get up and do a few odds and ends on, on this old car, probably like cleaning it off because it's becoming a pile again. Uh, so, I need to air up this, this tire over here. I need to take this spring out, check that out, check what weight it is. We found out what weight this one is. I do have a new spring over in the old shop. Um, I don't know what weight it is, but we might do some a little bit, just a little bit configuring and then get the front end done. Hopefully, that'll only take a day to do the front end. And honestly, uh, if I can get the front end done in a couple hours, it won't take no time to throw it on the scale and just see where we're at. Um, see what kind of adjustments we need to make to the back. And then after that, charge the battery up, clean it up, get some fuel. And I mean, it'll be ready to rock and roll. So there's not a whole lot to do on there. Oh, we got to straighten out some braces, some body panel braces. But that's that's cakewalk. Uh, check the rear end. I may go ahead and drain the rear end since it was a fresh rear end. Um, and we did race the one time on it. Go ahead and drain it. Uh, put some new oil in it. And that way, uh, you know, we got the break-in uh, break oil out of there. We got some new fresh oil in there just, just to be on the safe side. Um, it's like 15 bucks to do that. So that's, that's not bad. So, all right, folks. You guys have a good day. And until we meet again, be safe.